So over here you can see that I am in the timeline view inside of Microsoft Project. So in this timeline you can see that I have uh, the starting date, date as 23rd February and the ending date is 24th February. So I can see the range of tasks on all of uh, the date range right here. But if I want to limit out my date range to let's say for example just under uh, let's say March 23 right here then I can click right here to select out the timeline then on the top in the timeline format tab right here you can go around and click on date range. So once you go around over here it's uh, um, uh, you can see that it is um, uh, uh, selecting use the project start and finish date by default. If you want to go around and click on set custom date right here, then you can see that you have start and finish as an option. You can go around over here on to start and then select out, let's say for example, March 1st as date. And then I'm going to go around and select March end date right here. So from March 1st to end date right here, from 1 to 31st, I have selected it out just like this. So once this is done, if I were to go around and press OK, now it narrows down the timeline and you only see the timeline of that particular part as you can see right here. If you were to click outside, you can see that the date range gets disabled. But if you were to click on the timeline itself, you can see the date range is there. So if I were to go around and click on the date range, then this is what you have right here. And if I were to click on use the project start and finish date once more and press OK, now you can see everything all at once uh, once again. And that is how you can set up the date range for timeline inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.